21st century technology enables people to do things that once seemed impossible. But two routing artists felt they could achieve similar results without using complex tools. They specialize in what is known as optical illusion, the sort of artwork that is absolutely jaw-dropping. Explosively attention-grabbing, painted on a flat surface, but somehow transformed into three dimensions. This artwork, known as optical illusion, can confuse even the sharpest eye. Optical illusion, I can say it's something that uh, includes, uh, the, 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 the art itself includes a, a geometry, a physics and art. The creators of this groundbreaking work, Patrick Maseko and Elvin Guenya, are constantly pushing boundaries. Both of them are under 25. So, you know, it's people are actually surprised with the amount of skill and talent that they have for their age. Growing up separately in Soshangu Verauding, art was second nature for the pair. If maybe, maybe the teacher doesn't come to class and then I'll be like on my sketchbook, then all of the guys will gather and start uh, asking questions. Man, how do you do this? And then we share, we start sharing. I would draw anything in my book instead of writing. I would draw just heads, round rounds and sticky people. Uh, but then I had to escalate. But at the time, they couldn't find resources for formal art education. Patrick had to teach himself everything, imitating the artwork in his comic books. That's where we started learning how to shade all the, 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 the techniques, the volume and chiaroscuro. That's where we started growing and understanding the, 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 the art in a better way. As he continued teaching himself, he entered art competitions around Sushanguve. When he met Elvin in grade seven in 2003, the pair immediately bonded over their love for drawing. I realized this is art. The, the, from the type of art that he did, it was so different and I didn't know about it. So I had to learn as far as I can, as I could. So I tried to fit in to the spotlight where Patrick was because he was my mentor. The two friends collaborated and shared artwork until they went their separate ways for high school. After metric, they set art aside for day jobs, working as forklift drivers for different car companies. I even had fear that maybe I would end up being a, fork, a, a, a forklift driver forever. But I was like, no, everybody has his own uh, journey. Luckily, Patrick was eventually able to secure a job as a full-time artist at a Pretoria gallery. And as fate would have it, he and Elvin met again in 2010 in the capital city while on lunch break. Then I told him that, no, I'm into art as well. I'm now into art. And he said, what? You do art? He said, no, I want to see your work. And I, I, would, bro I would bring my work into the office and wait for lunch. Patrick brought Elvin on board to work at the same gallery and the duo was back at it, doing what had brought them together many years ago. They then added a third member to the team, teaching him the ins and outs of their techniques. Working with Elvin and Patrick, it's like working at home with your, with your brother, with your brothers. They, they treat you like you know everything. If you don't understand it, they show you. While doing conventional painting, they also needed to push their boundaries beyond the canvas. And this is what they chose, optical illusion, a futuristic expression that is transforming how art is viewed.
The art right now in South Africa is seen mostly in galleries and that's where everybody's focusing their art, right? But with Alvin and Patrick's 3D optical illusion, it's special because it's, it's open, it's a new form, and most importantly, it's something for the community. Creativity beyond imagination. Well, that's it for now. Join us again next time as we explore the lives of those who dare to dream. The people who are committed to making South Africa a country of possibilities. My name is Mpola Gaje. Cheers.